Aston Martin Victor. The folks at Aston Martin know a thing or two about exclusive vehicles, and the Victor might be the most exclusive project for the British brand to date. Based on the 177 platform, the Victor uses parts from several donor Astons including the track project Vulcan and the upcoming Valkyrie. And talking about limited production, the Victor is one of one and rumored to cost nearly $3 million. Don't forget to watch the first part of this video, link below video. Koenigsegg Jesko The Koenigsegg Jesko, apart from being the fastest car the company has made to date, is also the most expensive. At $3 million out of the box, the handsome hypercar has 1,600 horsepower courtesy of the brand's ubiquitous twin-turbocharged 5.0-liter V8 engine. Opt for the Absolute model, and the Jesco, in theory, will be able to hit 300 miles per hour. Aston Martin Valkyrie The upcoming Aston Martin hybrid hypercar hasn't even hit the market yet, but already the $3.2 million Valkyrie has sold out. For what it's worth, Aston Martin hasn't officially released pricing. Estimates suggest the hypercar could go for anywhere between $2.60 and $3.9 million, but $3.2 million seems to be the magic number. Whatever the case, this machine is impressive. Its Cosworth sourced 6.5 liter V12 produces 1,160 horsepower, 865 kilowatts, and 664 pound feet, 900 newton meters, of torque meaning its top speed should be well over 200 miles per hour, 321 kilometers per hour. The company will build just 150 examples of the standard Valkyrie, with a limited 25-run Armor model arriving later. W Motors Lycan Hypersport Dubai-based W Motors shocked the world with its edgy Lycan Hypersport supercar in 2013. With titanium LED headlights housing 420 15-carat diamonds and a holographic display in the center console, it's no surprise it was the third most expensive car ever when new. It falls to number 6 on our list here, but it's still a wild hypercar with a powerful heart. The twin-turbocharged 3.7-liter six-cylinder engine underhood produces 780 horsepower, 581 kilowatts, and 708 960 newton meters of torque pagani wire a roadster vc following pagani's past playbook a roadster version of the ferocious wire bc was inevitable last year the company made it official by showing off the wire roadster bc a topless monster with 800 horsepower 597 kilowatts and 774 pound feet of torque 1049 newton meters somewhat surprisingly Pagani gave the Roadster 50 more horsepower than its coupe sibling, by cranking up its AMG-sourced twin-turbocharged 6.0-liter V12. In addition to the joy of hearing the glorious engine note without a roof in the way, owners should take comfort in knowing that their car is ultra-rare. Pagani is limiting production to just 40 units, each with a sticker price of $3.5 million. Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport Another showstopper from the Geneva Motor Show that never was, the Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport is a special edition Chiron with a focus on aerodynamics, weight reduction, and power distribution. It's the same 8.0-liter quad-turbo W16 engine underneath the skin but it's now mated to a recalibrated automatic gearbox. While the peak output remains unchanged at 1,500 horsepower, 1,103 kilowatts, the RPM redline has been set 200 revolutions per minute higher, up to 6,900 revolutions per minute. The Pure Sport also features slightly revised bodywork, with a bigger rear wing and more aerodynamic front fascia. Beginning production in late 2020, the Bugatti starts at $3.6 million. Lamborghini Sean. In several ways, the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 Plus. Earlier this year, Bugatti captured the collective attention of the automotive world by announcing that it broke the 300 miles per hour barrier with a modified version of the Chiron. The Super Sport 300 Plus is a road-going version of that car, meant to celebrate the occasion. Limited to just 30 units, the Super Sport 300 Plus is a beautiful version of the Chiron, with flowing, slippery bodywork and a sweet stripe motif. Even with 300 in the name, Bugatti is limiting the top speed of each car to just 277 miles per hour.
Production starts this year. Lamborghini Veneno. Lamborghini built just 14 examples of the Aventador-based Veneno between 2014 and 2015. Each one cost around $4.5 million, depending on how it was specced, and was available in both convertible and coupe configurations. Underhood Lamborghini fitted a more powerful iteration of the Aventador's 6.5-liter V12, now producing 740 horsepower, 552 kilowatts, and 509 pound-feet, 609 newton-meters, of torque, which gave it the ability to sprint to 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers per hour, in a blistering 2.9 seconds. To date, it's the most expensive new Lamborghini ever. Bugatti Devo. Among Bugatti's recently debuted vehicles, the Devo is a staff favorite. Though it shares much in common with its cheaper, sibling the Chiron, the Devo has a lot going for it to justify the extra money. By adding lighter wheels, a carbon fiber intercooler and removing some sound deadening, Bugatti made the Devo 77 pounds lighter than the Chiron. Though power is unchanged from the Chiron's 1,500 ponies, 1,119 kilowatts, the Devo features a different aerodynamic setup, which makes it 8 seconds quicker around the Nardo test track. Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, Bugatti is making 40 examples of the car, each costing $5.8 million. Rolls-Royce Sweptail Rolls-Royce, expectedly, takes two of the top three spots on this list, with the stunning Sweptail one-off from 2017 coming in at number three. With a monumental price tag of $13 million, it was, at the time of its debut, the most expensive new car ever. It's been outpriced since then, but the 453 horsepower luxury car is still a jaw-dropper. Bugatti La Voiture Nore. With a price tag of $13.4 million, the one-off Bugatti La Voiture Nore is officially the most expensive new Bugatti ever made. And understandably so. A modern interpretation of Jean Bugatti's personal Type 57 SC Atlantic, the La Voiture Nore uses the same quad-turbocharged 8.0-liter W16 engine as the Chiron, producing 1,479 horsepower. It has six, that's right, six exhaust tips, radical new wheels, an aggressive, bespoke fascia, and a gigantic light-up badge in the rear that spells out the name of the brand. Of course, this one-of-one one Bugatti already has a home. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail Rolls-Royce is back in the business of coachbuilding with the gorgeous new Boat Tail. A successor to the stunning Swept Tail from 2017 which itself cost a reported $12.8 million. The boat tail has a unique two-tone exterior, custom high-end finishes inside, and even a hosting suite, complete with a champagne fridge and built-in sun umbrella. Although Rolls-Royce doesn't officially announce pricing for one-off builds such as this, rumor has it that the boat tail cost a whopping $28 million new.